We will now visualize the results of our simulation. Once the simulation runs to completion, you will be automatically switched to the Physics Results Explorer app. You can also select the Results tool from the Fixed section of the Action bar to switch to the Physics Results Explorer app. The Physics Results Explorer app lets you manage results data from simulations performed within the 3D Experience platform. You can create graphical output such as contour plots, history plots, and display groups, as well as animations of the model response and reports to summarize the simulation for selected variables. Once you enter the app, the plots dialog box is displayed along with a contour plot. Using the plots dialog box, you can choose the step to be active along with the contour plot that you want to display. Only one contour plot is active by default. In addition to the plots dialog box, the simulation manager provides a convenient display to view the results data. To display the simulation manager, select the simulation manager tool from the fixed area of the action bar. The simulation manager also contains the default list of available contour plots. To view a contour plot from the simulation manager, right-click the plot and select Activate. To create a new contour plot, click the Create Contour Plot tool in the visualization section of the action bar. Contour plots that can be displayed depend on the output requests created when defining the simulation. Once you click OK, the new plot appears in the Simulation Manager. You can temporarily disable the view of components to view the results of objects that are behind them. For example, we will next look at the contour plot of the contact pressure on the stopper component. Click on the component that you want to disable and press F7 to disable it from display. Repeat the step to disable the barrel, effectively digging into the interior of the model. Plot the contour plot for the contact pressure. To restore the disabled components, press F8. We will next create a resultant sensor. Resultant sensors provide a summary of the resultant forces and moments at one or more locations in your simulation results. From the visualization section, of the action bar, click Create Resultant Sensor. The Resultant Sensor dialog box appears. 
choose the region of the applied load as the support and specify the step and frame for which the resultant sensor will return data. Next, use the settings in the results options dialog box to display the nodal forces and moments computed for the resultant sensor. The resultant sensor data also appears in the simulation manager. This brings to the conclusion of our tutorial.